Stepan Bana, commander with the Bani unit, says that Russia is attacking mainly with infantry, but there was an attempt to break through by a group of 30 soldiers on 15 motorcycles. Russia is trying to carry out assault actions of various kinds every day in the Siversk sector as well as in other sectors. Most of the attacks involve enemy infantry. Two days ago, the Russians even attempted to conduct an assault on motorcycles. There was a group of about 15 motorcycles, each with two invaders, who intended to break through deep into the territory controlled by the Ukrainian Defense Forces. However, the entire group was destroyed and the enemy's offensive was stopped, said the commander of the Bani unit on Espresso TV. According to him, the 10th Brigade has been in the Siversk sector for two years now and the brigade took up its positions in September 2022. I would like to say that our battalion's area of responsibility is mainly field terrain. Therefore, if we talk about successes, they boil down to the fact that we have lost a landing or a field or have regained it. Obviously, we are targeting certain settlements, but the key task is to stay in our area of responsibility, emphasized Stepan Bana. The motorcycle is already almost standard equipment in the Russian army. The Ukraine war has evolved into a conflict in which any movement is determined by the massive presence of frontline explosive and surveillance drones. More and more, small vehicles are coming into action to the detriment of the slower, more identifiable armored infantry carriers. Ukrainian military analysts and those of its Western allies have noted the leap forward that has taken place with these vehicles since last April in the Russian army. Videos broadcast by Russian media and online military accounts show a large fleet of motorcycles at regimental bases such as the 123rd Motorized Rifle Brigade in Donetsk or the 71st Motorized Rifle Regiment on the Zaporizhia front. In the latter case, images released by its personnel show motorcycles on which metal cages have been installed to protect the crew members from drone attacks. Russian soldiers have recommended in recent months, via their Telegram accounts, that electric motorcycles be used because they are silent and are harder for drones with thermal night vision to detect. Israeli warplanes dropped flares over the Beirut sky on Thursday, shortly before breaking the sound barrier, at the same time Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah was delivering a televised speech from an undisclosed location. The planes flew low over Beirut, breaking the sound barrier with two loud booms, scattered birds and prompted people in homes and offices to quickly open windows to prevent them from shattering. Nasrallah said the mass bombing attack against Hezbollah using its communications devices was a severe blow and said Israel had crossed a red line. But he vowed the group would emerge stronger and continue its daily strikes into northern Israel. As he was making his speech, Hezbollah and the Israeli military traded new strikes over the border. Fears are rising that 11 months of exchanges of fire between the two sides will escalate into all-out war particularly after this week's unprecedented bombings, which detonated hundreds of pagers and walkie-talkies used by Hezbollah. At least 37 people were killed and some 3,000 wounded in the explosions, which appeared to be the culmination of a months-long operation by Israel to target as many Hezbollah members as possible all at once, but which also hit civilians. The attack came as Israeli leaders have warned that they could launch a stepped-up military operation against Hezbollah, saying they are determined to stop the group's fire to allow tens of thousands of Israelis to return to homes near the border.